Y'all, I can barely contain my excitement. And this is on human hair. And y'all know that normally synthetic is more my drip and I just do human for y'all. But y'all, I gotta be honest. This human hair weed that I'm about to bring you guys is for y'all to see, but also it is for me. So if you're a wig wearer and you're a part of any wig group or platform online, there's a name that you guys know that is synonymous with just like bomb ass wig, okay? Um, her name is Crystal Ben, and I probably have pictures of her work flashing here already. Uh, she is phenomenal. The awesome part is y'all, not only is she phenomenal, when I was seeing her in these different wig groups, y'all, I realized me and her are in the same city. So how lucky am I? Her work always stood out to me as being unique, different, and just like bombly constructed. And I always said that it was a goal of mine to purchase one of her wigs. Well, y'all, me and her got together and she gave me a unit to review for you guys that I'm super stoked about because I know it's going to be bomb because it is by Crystal Ben. If you guys remember a while back, I did my video on like some of my most favorite um, things, current things, and you heard me talk about Crystal. You know those wig grips that I wear? If you notice on the side, it says hair fetish. That's her company. Um, so those wig grips about her, something else that she sells that has done wonders for me. Y'all know that I really am bald. And you see that I have a little bit of uh, balding here. Y'all, this used to be a whole lot worse. Okay, let me brush my hair down so you can see. Like I was darn near bald all here, okay? But she has these hair drops that I massage into my temples every night that has grown my edges back, sis. So it's going to be hot girl summer, even if I am on my balcony. And another product that she has that I recently discovered uh, that I'm just in love with, it's uh, called, dang, what is it called? I just know what it does. Um, dang, what is it called? I think about it. I insert a name here somewhere. But y'all, you can put that on your brush and it literally takes, it's called wig purge or some purge. Anyway, it takes the glue, any residue that you might have in your wig out. So she is just bomb all around. So when she said, Jessica, I got a wig that I want you to show. Y'all, I'm going to be honest. When I first met her, I was starstruck. Like I was literally in her shop like this, looking around. Because not only, I, I'm going to be honest, not only is her shop really, really gorgeous, she, she really gorgeous. So I was staring at her like, trying to break eye contact because she is so gorgeous, but not just on the outside, on the inside as well. And she is really, really big on making sure her clients get exactly what they are paying for. So I'm so thankful for Crystal for sending me this wig so I can show it to you guys. As a matter of fact, a bunch of you guys hit me up and said, have you ever heard of Crystal Ben? Sis, yes, I'm a fan too, okay? So she gave me this wig to bring you guys. We came in this little key set, okay? And I am super stoked because one, it's bangs. And y'all know I love a wig with bangs. And two, because of the color, okay? All right, y'all. Take a look at this. Y'all, look, first of all, that's the back of the unit. And it has these beautiful fringy bangs in the front. So they're not coming across as too blunt. Okay. Look at that. part. This is a bang unit, but look at the attention to detail that she put on a bang unit. Okay. So with a unit that has bangs, you still, in my opinion, need some sort of scalp action going on at the top. Because if not, you're going to look usher boy fresh. Okay. You're going to look like you're ready to hand out, you know, communion wafers. By her and look at the detail, y'all. I didn't, y'all know, I ain't done nothing to this. Y'all, look at the detail that she put into that. Let's look at the construction of this wig as well. So, it is your standard cap construction. You get a comb in the back with your adjustable straps, and then in the front. Now, this is a bang unit, but look at that. Look at that parting space you get. Y'all, shebomb.com. If you look in the description box, of course, I am going to put a direct link 
to where you can go and purchase this cutie, but I highly encourage you to also like look at her other units as well. You need to be following her on Instagram. I'll put her Instagram uh, handle here, but know that she customized. She can make any wig that your little heart desire, sis. All right, y'all, I'm gonna plop this on my head, okay? I put a stocking cap on because y'all I have a feeling this wig finna be so bomb that I'm finna be so extra I think this is gonna be the only wig that I film today to be honest with you and I'm just gonna go change my look up change up the lipstick change up the shirt uh the shirt give you a little action okay let me put this on my head Y'all, look at that, okay? And that's with me doing nothing to this. Look at how good that looks, okay? I'm gonna grab my flat iron and run it through these pieces, but y'all, to be honest with you, this doesn't look bad <laughs> just like this. Y'all, check that coloring out. Yeah, I'm gonna run my flat iron because I want it to curl under a little bit and I need to do these bangs. But notice with the bangs, how they fall. So. Whenever I wear a bang unit, I like for it to fall in my eyes because that looks so freaking dramatic and I can not see. And that's an excuse for me not to do my eyebrows. However, you can pull it back some if you want to. Y'all, and this is just the perfect little length and everything on this bob. What I'm about to do is I'm going to grab my flat iron because it's been in that uh, sack. I'm gonna grab my flat iron and run my flat iron through these pieces and run it through the bangs and model it. But y'all, I'm also going to um, change up my lipstick look and my shirts a little bit and change up my earrings. Y'all, we, we about to stunt in this wig. So sis, just stay tuned. <laughs> I've ever had. If you notice in that clip, no matter how many times I changed up my lipstick color, in my opinion, this hair color, this cut worked with everything from a neutral lip to a pink lip to a yellow lip to a red lip, blue, green, anything, okay? 
This wig is bomb.com. And the reason why I love it so much is because the attention to detail, like, like I said, Crystal putting that part there makes it look more realistic. Um, the, the other thing that I love about this wig, because y'all know synthetic is normally my drip, but with human hair, I like human hair that's easy. That's why I prefer like four by fours on a human hair wig. This is the plop on and go version of a human hair wig. Y'all, all y'all saw that I did was run my flat iron through these front pieces and the bangs. I put a little bit of powder right there, y'all, and I'm good to go. So this is my type of human hair drip. You definitely, definitely need to go follow Crystal on Instagram because I can speak her praises to the cows come home, but her work fit, uh, speaks for itself. Look at the description box. I'm putting a direct link to where you can go see it. I promise myself, that as a gift to myself, I was gonna go buy one of her wigs. So sis, I am, okay? Because she is like a beast when it comes to these wigs, y'all. And know that, say you like this wig, but you don't like this color, which I don't understand how you can't like this color because I'm saying that and I'm an Ash Blonde fan. This color is popping, period, okay? But let's say you don't like this color. The amazing thing about Crystal is that she customizes. She could do anything your little heart desire. Say in your heart, you want something like burnt orange. I don't know. You want doo-doo green. I don't know. Whatever color you want, Crystal could do it, y'all. Okay? She is all that in a bag of chips, so I definitely recommend her. Uh, coming down the pipeline, I was going to wait to show y'all. I'm doing a video for some more products that she sent me, you guys. Um, the first one is going to be the sculpting hair foam. So you can use it like if you have a wig and you got a few flyaways, you can apply heat and make it lay down. But y'all know what I'm going to be using this for on my human hair wigs. It also defines curls. So you know how I normally spray with water. I'm going to test this out with y'all. I hate to jump the gun like this because y'all know I never do that. I'm 99.9% sure that this is going to be bump or even test it out because Crystal is very particular about what she sells, what she puts her brand hair fetish on. So I know that's going to work. She also sent this and I'm so looking forward to using this in uh, future videos and then doing um, a review for you guys. It is called the Knot Eraser. So on wigs where you got to hide those grids, look at all the variety of shades that come in. Look at that. Look at that. Look, yo. Woo! Okay, y'all, this wig lit. Everything that Crystal sell is lit. Crystal lit, y'all, I promise. Go follow her on Instagram and you will see what I'm talking about. Like I always say, maybe you're not even into wigs. I don't know, maybe she cousin Crystal's a cool cousin that only, she only shows, she like a unicorn. She only show up like to family functions every once in a while and she back in. So she could just leave straight out. She just want Medea to see her face. She speak to everybody and she gone by the business. Maybe it's that cousin, Crystal. Um, maybe it's your Uncle Carl. Okay, maybe it's Carl. Your uncle that always fry that catfish at the family functions. Not too soft, not too hard. He put it to, give it to you on a little plate with a slice of bunny bread, maybe some pound cake. Maybe it's your Uncle Carl, and he done lived for y'all so long, frying up that fish. Let him live his best life. If we put him in this little number, just like his fish, stiff wear. Stiff wear. Y'all, I'm feeling myself in this week. <laughs> until next time be sure to go check out like i said crystal being a hair finish on instagram until next time which will be very very soon y'all bye <laughs>